Hello everyone, I am Santosh. Today we are going to learn C programming features and its some of the elements. Okay, shall we start? Before that, we need to learn the different categories of computer languages. Like, there are three categories of computer languages. They are low level language, middle level language and high level language. What is low level language? As you know, computer can only understand zeros and ones. Means it can understand only binary digits. That is low level language. Means everything will be written in zero and one. Then what is middle level language? Middle level language means it supports some of the symbolic instructions like as I have given add for addition, div for division and load for loading the data. Okay, like that. There are symbolic instructions we can use it in the program. Then third level is high level language. High level language means where we are using English alphabets, digits, special symbols to write the program. Okay. Let us see what is C language. C is a high level language because to write C programs we can use English alphabets symbols digits which are easy for us to read write and understand means we can write easily programs in c because it has alphabets symbols and digits before that we learn what are the features of c okay the first feature is c is a general purpose language which means we can write C programs for general purpose or to solve general problems like billing system problem or some calculation problem okay it is not so specific you can write it for general problems also which makes it very powerful and C is a structured language means C has its own structure we need to follow that and C has rich set of operators as you know we use some of the operators in real life like plus minus multiplication symbol division okay which are used for calculation purpose or which help us to make the calculation easy but C has rich set of operators so that any problem can be solved easily using those operators means even difficult calculations operations can be performed okay and c has no rigid format which means c is easy to write just we need to learn its syntax by learning syntax we can write the programs easily and c supports different data types also there are different data types or types of data available. We can use them to solve the problem. Like we can use character data types, integer data types or fractions also to solve the problem. Okay, let us see other features of C language. C has even some reserved words even in english we have reserved words like dictionary words okay 
there are different reserved words we can use them in the program and they have their own meaning okay then c is portable means any program written in a machine can be copied and just use we can use them in another machine okay we can run the programs in different machines also c supports representation of formulas like how we write in real life some of the formulas the same formulas can be written in the program also like they are called expressions okay let us see what are the c character set c character set means to write c programs we can use the c character sets like in English we have alphabets to write English words sentences or paragraph like that we can use different C characters with the help of those characters we can write the programs easily okay what are those we can use alphabets in the programs that is A to Z and even capital A to Z Okay, then we can use digits also to write the program. Even we can use different special symbols like comma, dot, star, hash. Okay. There are different special symbols. We can use them in the program to write the program. Okay. These are different C character sets. Means with these we can write the programs. Okay. Let us see what are C tokens. C tokens means they are basic and smallest units of C programs. Means to write C programs, we need the help of these elements like they are keywords, identifiers, constants, strings, operators, and special symbols with the help of these we can write the programs okay let us see how to learn c this is very important because everyone wants to learn how to write the program in c and it's very easy to write the program in c like that just you follow these steps okay like how we know that is steps to learn English language very simple we are first we need to learn alphabets then we are writing words with those alphabets then we can write sentences and then we can write paragraphs like that in the same way we are going to learn C so let us see how to write C program simple as you all know there is a C character set which has alphabets digits special symbols like how you learn alphabets to write English language in the same way you need to know which are the characters we must use to write the C programs simple okay those are alphabets digits special symbols like how in English with the help of alphabets we can create words in the same way in C also we can create keywords or not creating keywords are always already there we can create identifiers variables okay with the help of them we can write the programs because they are basic elements of C program and by using keywords identifiers variables constants we can write a single statement or it is also called as instruction and as you all know 
program is set of instructions with different instructions it will become a program okay a program can have more than one instruction there will be different statements to solve a problem or we need to provide different instructions to solve a problem okay to write instructions we need the help of alphabets digits special symbols and also with the help of those alphabets digits and special symbols we are creating different identifiers variables which can be used in the program okay very easy have you learnt how to write c programs not it because we are going to write or we are going to study these keywords identifiers constants variables in the coming days thanks for watching